Okay, so in the last video, what we did was we got the colors from the user using second tier integer arrays. In this third video, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making all the turns. So for instance, if you have a green clockwise turn, then you are going to need to move certain colors into certain other colors. So for instance, if you have an integer... 6, 5, at that point, if you have green and you move something counterclockwise, you need to move green into, let's say, integer I don't, uh, 5, 6, for instance. That's just an example, but this is what you need to do. So we need to create classes for each turn. So we need green clockwise green counterclockwise and we need that for every single face so we're going to need green we're going to need blue we're going to need white yellow red and orange so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the code that I made just for green clockwise I'm going to explain it to you and I'm going to let you make the code for the rest of the faces. Also, I will put the re the other code in the description. So, first what I'm going to do is I'm going to create I'm going to copy and paste it actually from my code, the finished code, and this is what it is. So, as you can see here, we are using a method called green clockwise. Uh we're passing colors uh, as a parameter and we're changing these colors so initially what we're doing is we're taking at primary face 0 which is a integer array that we created so at 0 you can have the color from the colors that was brought in so this is the data that was brought in and you can uh, make primary face which is a front face that has nine colors um, at 0 it's going to be whatever it is at 0 0 at 1 is going to be colors at 0 1 and you can see it here that at 0 0 you're going to set it to primary face 1 so this is the face and then over here what you would have is these are the colors that are primary outer so these are the outer colors that need to be changed but first we're dealing with the inside colors so primary face at zero equals colors at zero this is just temporary and then you're gonna change it over so primary f I mean colors at two equals primary at zero because if you move this clockwise that this is going to get the color that was here so in order to do that you take it you put in a temporary integer array and then you put it into where it needs to be same thing goes for the outer um, basically what you need to do is you just need to take the colors from here and put them where they need to be for instance if you move this clockwise and in position 10 you would have um, what 40 is so at colors 10 you'd have the primary outer of 40 so you need 9 here as you can see 0 through 8 that's 9 of them and you need 12 here because there are 12 outer ones. There's these and then there's also these. If you look at your own Rubik's Cube, you'll be able to figure that out. Like I said, I am going to put this, the full code in the description. Uh, it's going to be updated, so it's going to have all of the old code that we got. But um, yeah, you should be able to figure this out pretty easily. I included comments. I haven't posted a video because I'm in college and I have to study a lot so if I don't post a video for like a week then know them in college and probably studying but you should be able to figure this out and the next video will actually get started on um, solving the actual cube moving stuff around using these as methods to change around the colors and manipulate the colors so that we can actually solve the cube uh, this right here all you have to do know about this is that when you're telling the program to manipulate the colors you also want to tell the user to move something 
clockwise or counterclockwise. So you just have to uh, add this print line so that it become it shows on command on the uh, console. All right. So good luck. Thank you.